welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I am your host, Rabina Rastavan, a.k.a. The Realist Astrologer. And tonight I'm going to get into the dark side of Capricorn female. I know some of you have been waiting patiently for this video, so I apologize for the long wait. But um, I'm going to post my disclaimer to the left. So if this does not apply, please let it fly. But uh, for a lot of you Capricorns, on some of your worst days, you may display some of these dark sided traits. So let's begin. So first and foremost, the dark side of Capricorn female can be straight up mean. She's basically the queen bitch of the Zodiac. Often she has this sour disposition. She will make a rock cry. They tend to have this mean look on their face, a sour puss, have that frown that brings everybody down. They are negative Nancys, Debbie Downers, due to their naturally pessimistic and cynical nature. They tend to be miserable women in general. So let me just uh, state this disclaimer. Um, through my personal experience, I found that there's a distinct uh, line between those Capricorn females that are on the light side and those who are on the dark side. Uh, but a lot of times you won't see their dark side in nature, the dark side ones, if you just have a casual or business relationship with them. Um, oftentimes that dark side in nature will come out if you're in a very close relationship with them or if you are very uh connected with their private life so i just have to put that out there but a lot of times um like i say they're, they're either on the dark side or they're on the light side and you can definitely tell a lot of the dark sided ones are just bitches all around um they just could just be have nasty attitudes and it does come out even in the workplace so moving along of uh, the dark side of Capricorn female is a naysayer. She's a natural skeptic and she's a natural hater. A hater not so much out of jealousy, but just because, just because they just like to hate. Um, the dark side of Capricorn female is cold. She can be heartless. She tends to lack feeling, compassion, and empathy. Um, uh, even when it comes to people who are weak or who are vulnerable, the dark side of Capricorn female, she has a hard time showing sympathy and empathizing with those who um, either have less than or who are struggling or who are weak. Basically, uh, only the strong shall survive. That's a Capricorn saying all day long. The dark side of Capricorn female can be miserly. She could be a cheapskate. She wants to spend your money before she spends hers and she's counting every penny. And this is due to her extreme fear of being broke and living in poverty. So along with that, the dark side of Capricorn female is very materialistic. Basically, money is her god. Now, she's a natural authoritarian. She tends to act like your parent, regardless of who you are, especially if you're in a, a position or status that is beneath her. Um, in terms of being a parent, it's more so a father than a mother because they tend to be natural disciplinarians, very controlling, and they really don't have much of a nurturing nature. Now, either the dark side of Capricorn female will control the situation or she just won't deal with you at all. And they have such a negative attitude that they tend to have very few friends, if any, and they tend to be very lonely as a result. So that's, again, about their need to be in control. And if they can't will that control, they will create strife and dissension between their friends or their associates, and then they'll end up being lonely and being full of resentment as a result. Work and career ambition overshadows everything for the dark side of Capricorn female, especially if she's the work oriented type. Um, there are two types of dark side of Capricorn females. I'll get into that in a minute. Now, as I mentioned before, um, they can be phony as hell in public. So it may not be easy to see their dark sided traits firsthand if you really don't know them or if you don't have a close relationship with them because they do tend to project this um, upstanding, um, agreeable persona, especially if they're trying to get something from you or especially if they're in the workplace. However, um, it's a lot of times it's just phoniness because they'll be a total bitch behind closed doors. Now, they're very private people. They tend to be very suspicious of outsiders, very standoffish. Um, basically, the dark side of Capricorn female dislikes people in general. So don't think you're going to get all buddy-buddy with her when you first meet her unless she wants something from you or unless you validate her in some way. So they can be fake as fuck in that uh, respect. So uh, the dark side of Capricorn female can be opportunistic. She's a user. She's an exploiter. 
She only calls when she needs something. If she doesn't deem that you are useful, then she won't deal with you or she won't feel like that, uh, you know, you deserve to be in her life or that you deserve her time and attention. Again, with Capricorn, it's all about need and necessity. So if you are not, if they don't see you as a necessity in their life, they're going to put you on the back burner or they're going to um, make you a very low priority. So like I said before, there's essentially two different kinds of dark-sided Capricorn females. You have the bitter, old-before-her-time, workaholic spinster, and the ultra-materialistic, gold-digging, social-climbing trophy wife. Now, the latter is much more fun to be around, of course, but she's also more dangerous because she's more ruthless because she's all about getting that paper, but she gets it through other people. The spinsters tend to be dowdy and depressing in their appearance, only wearing dark co colors like navy blue, black, brown, gray, not taking the time to invest in her look unless it's for work, unless they're trying to get a job and they're on an interview. And they tend to wear these ugly, clunky, um, unfeminine shoes. So if you notice that, just, you know, you could kind of tell a dark-sided Capricorn, the spinster type, just look at her shoes. If they look like goat's hooves, then you're probably looking at a dark-sided Capricorn female. Basically, they wouldn't know style if it kicked them in the teeth. Now, in terms of relationships, the spinster type, if she has a man, she's the kind that will take care of him. So she's the type that will attract a total bum scumbag who constantly humiliates her and exploits her and breaks her down. But she loves it because she needs to be punished. Capricorn is the sign of punishment, and they can have a masochistic uh, streak within them where they feel like nothing is worth um, attaining unless there's some struggle or pain involved. So that's true with relationships. So the dark-sided Capricorn female, the spinster type, is prone to date down or to marry down, to marry a man that is totally beneath them. But basically, they see it as them wielding control because usually they're the one making all the money. They're the one taking care of the responsibility. So at the end of the day, they're in control. However, they tend to get resentful. They tend to be fill, filled with self-loathing when they realize that they have a bad deal or a raw deal at the end of the day. Yet, she will remain loyal for many years. Um, just think about uh, Mary J. Blige with that uh, snake Kendu and how he was basically using her for her um, money, making it seem like he was caring all about her welfare and her well-being and her career and all of that, trying to act like he was her manager, but he was really just trying to suck the uh, life out of her, suck the finances out of her. And now, now that they're going through this divorce, he's trying to get, I think it's like a hundred, hundred thousand dollars in alimony from her. So yeah, Mary J. Blige, she's one of them spinster type. That, you know, she just can't get it together in the relationship department. And she tends to get with the guys that she ends up taking care of. She tends to be the more responsible one. Now, the gold digging type only cares about getting ahead. She may also be a workaholic in some cases, but she never marries down. The man she gets with better have money. And she tends to overdo it on the makeup and accessories. Just think about Dolly Parton. Now, Dolly Parton, she's not really dark-sided, but she has that ultra materialistic plastic look going on so the gold digging type of uh, dark sided Capricorn female they're going to have that plastic look going on so them too they wouldn't know style if it kicked them in the knee so um case in point have you ever seen the movie or documentary uh, called Queen of Versailles it's about um, this woman named Jackie Siegel who is a dark sided Capricorn She's the epitome of the gold digging type of dark sided Capricorn because she married this old ass man who could basically, he barely can move around. He could barely speak and he's just old and decrepit and just dry and just nasty looking. But that didn't bother her because it was all about the money. And she had like eight kids with this kid, uh, with this guy, all for insurance purposes if they ever got divorced so she could get all that child support. And she bragged in the documentary how she never had to change a diaper because she has this team of nannies. So she acted totally inept, and most Capricorns are not inept. They're very capable. They're very competent. But the gold digging type will be phony and will play this role that they're inept, that they're kind of like airhead-like, 
just so that they don't have to work hard, just so that they can ride on the coattails of their rich husband or whatever. Another dark-sided Capricorn female trait is they tend to be natural brown nosers. They tend to ask, kiss the boss or people in positions of power, especially if they're trying to attain that position one day. And back to opportunism, the dark-sided Capricorn female, she could be a natural sellout. She basically has no qualms about selling her soul. Just think about Mary J. Blige when she had that uh, commercial for Burger King. Actually, that song wasn't bad. However, Mary knew that she was feeding into that stereotype about black people and fried chicken and how black people like to sing for their chicken and all that stuff. But it didn't bother her because it was all about the almighty dollar. Dark Side of Capricorn can be all about money. Basically, money is their God. And again, it's all about that fear of being broke, that fear of being in poverty. So they will sell their soul if that means they, they can get ahead and that they can be financially secure at the end of the day. Now, also think about Mary's recent fiasco with this Hillary Clinton uh, little ad that she had or this little commercial where she was singing about uh, the cops and how, you know, people need to respect the cops and all of that stuff. Well, one thing about Dark Side of Capricorn is they're so much into authority that they tend to love cops. So I'm sure Mary has a thing for cops, but she just loves cops because she loves that whole authoritarian uh, figure thing. So it's no surprise to me that she was singing that song to Hillary Clinton and basically playing that mammy role, again, selling out. But Dark Side of Capricorn, it's all about the money for them. Now, if you got Venus or Mars in Capricorn, even your son in Capricorn, you might have dated a cop or two. So if anybody's a Capricorn and you've dated a cop, just leave a comment below and let me know. Just confirm that because it's been my experience that Capricorn uh, women, it doesn't have to be dark sided, but they are attracted to cops. Now, speaking of authority and big brother, they do tend to be snitches. Now, they will snitch on your ass in a heartbeat, so watch what you do and say around them. Now, if they ever institute martial law in this country, I'm staying clear away from Capricorns because I don't trust them when it comes to the law and when it comes to uh, when their back is up against the wall and if they can snitch on somebody to get themselves out of trouble, they'll do it. Now, ironically, they will cheat and cut corners and stab you in the back if it means they'll get ahead, and for them, it's all business, never personal. That's definitely a Capricorn saying. And they'll lie without a conscience if it means they'll get ahead as well. So Capricorn, dark side of Capricorn is very easy to figure out. Um, it's all about materialism. It's all about ambition. It's all about getting ahead in life. It's all about money. Basically, that's and it's all about control as well. Basically, that's what it is in a nutshell. So they're pretty easy to figure out. There's really no mystery around them. And in that respect, they could be kind of boring. Now, a lot of them either can't cook or refuse to cook. And that's because they don't like being domesticated. They'd rather be out in the world um, trying to attain success, trying to climb up that corporate ladder, trying to break that glass ceiling. So they really aren't the type to be housewives and play the mothering role and be nurturing and all of that. And dark-sided Capricorn females tend to lay guilt trips on people. Uh, they will make you feel that you committed the worst sin. And did I mention that the dark-sided Capricorn female will hang on to a dead relationship for years, even though she's not getting anything out of it, even though she knows the man is just using her? Basically, that's because Capricorn is one of the signs of death. And they refuse to bury the dead. And Capricorn just has this thing, especially women with Venus and Capricorn. You love to cling to the past. You just have these this hope of reconciling with a past love. Or the relationship has outlived its usefulness, but you keep on holding on because you're all about ambition. And like I said before, you feel like something is only worth attaining if it involves pain or struggle. 
Another dark side of Capricorn trait is that they can be elitist and have this air of superiority no matter what station they are in life, uh, no matter what their status is. Uh, she could be a prostitute or a crackhead and she's still going to have this elitist of uh, this elitist air to her. She's still going to walk around like she's the shit. And she's still going to be trying to tell you about yourself. Now, as a mother, the dark side of Capricorn female can be very strict. She tends to lack the ability to nurture. She may always be pushing her kids off on others so she can focus on her career and making money. Um, some of these mothers are extremely cold-hearted, judgmental, and unsympathetic. Case in point, um, just think about that old bitch of a grandmother from that book and movie Flowers in the Attic. Um, if you've never seen that movie, watch it because that will give you a good example of how cold and callous a dark-sided Capricorn female can be. I feel like they basically exemplify the dark-sided Capricorn female with the grandmother's role. And what's funny is the woman that played the grandmother in that movie played Nurse Ratchet and one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Nurse Ratchet was this bitch on wheels of a nurse who played these mind games and was very sadistic with the patients. And she just, you know, just killed their self-esteem and killed their spirit. So if you've never seen that movie, it's starring Jack Nicholson. That's a good example of how cold and callous a dark side of Capricorn female can be as well. And like I said, the same woman that played in Flowers in the Attic played in played Nurse Ratchet and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. So I'm wondering if she has some Capricorn energy in her that she's working with. Moving along. Oh, also, uh, Cruella DeVille, the female villain in 101 Dalmatians, she's another accurate depiction of the dark-sided Capricorn female, even though it's a cartoon fictional character. Watch that movie, and you'll see as well. Now, these dark-sided Capricorn mothers, if married, they tend to be cold towards the children and unloving or just unnurturing, but will be jealous if they cling to a more nurturing father. Yet, the mother won't see herself as the cause of the problem. She'll blame the father for playing the children against her, or pitting the children against her. Now, she expects her children to earn her respect through hard work and total compliance. She can be downright cruel with her criticism. She will kill a child's spirit over and over. And another example, just um, if you ever seen the movie uh, Civil with Sally Fields, uh, that was a movie about this woman who developed multiple personality disorder at the hands of her abusive mother. I feel like that is another accurate depiction of how cruel and sadistic a dark-sided Capricorn mother could be because she basically abused um, her daughter just for her own pleasure. And sometimes dark-sided Capricorn, they can be that sadistic where they just want to inflict pain and they derive pleasure out of seeing people in pain or seeing people suffering. And that deals with that lack of empathy, that lack of compassion. Now, dark side Capricorn females, they become sexually aware at a very early age. Uh, they're very precocious at a very early age. And this is mainly because they are eavesdropping on adults' conversation. They're sneaking peeks at daddy's nudie magazines. And in that respect, they could be very bad influences upon their younger siblings and also their friends, their peers. Now, the dark-sided Capricorn female, as a teen, she can't wait to grow up and leave the nest. She thinks she knows as much, if not more, than her parents. And she's prone to run away from home, never to return. Um, basically, she's a teen wannabe starlet who takes the bus to L.A. and then ends up turning tricks on the street and being abused by a pimp until she wisens up. That's if drugs don't do her in first. Now, a lot of the dark-sided Capricorn females have no qualms about using what they got to get what they want. This usually works out well for them when it comes to sex. It's when sex is coupled with love or those feelings or tender emotions. That's where they tend to suffer because Capricorn and love does not mix. So I hate to break it to you Capricorn ladies, but for a lot of you guys, it's going to be very hard to find that true traditional love and romance because Capricorn, like I said, Capricorn and love just do not mix. Capricorn is not of the heart. Capricorn does not deal with matters of the heart. It's all about business. It's all about materialism. It's all about the outside world. So that's just the way it is. So the dark-sided Capricorn female does much better uh, when it comes to sex 
for money or sex for ambition as opposed to sex for love. So in that vein, they make very good madams. Basically, the dark side of Capricorn female is the madam of the zodiac. She could easily use sex for profit. And what better way to do this than to become a madam? Now, Heidi Flights, born December 30th, is the chief example of this. I'm just going to read a little bit about her. She is a dark sided Capricorn to the fullest. Heidi Lynn Flights, born December 30th, 1965, is an American former madam and also a columnist and television personality regularly featured in the 1990s in American media. She ran a prostitution ring based in Los Angeles, California, and is often referred to as the Hollywood Madam. At the age of 22, Flights began managing a prostitution ring under Madam Alex. By 1990, Flights parted with Alex and started her own prostitution ring. Flights has stated that she made her first million dollars after only four months in the business as a madam, and that on her slowest night, she made $10,000. See, and the thing with Capricorn is oftentimes they enlist others to do their dirty work. So while the dark side of Capricorn female has no qualms about prostitution or sleeping her way to the top, she rather enlists others to do it. So she does much better as a madam than as a prostitute herself because she really doesn't like to do menial work and get her hands dirty and all of that stuff. So Heidi Flights is the epitome of that dark side of Capricorn madam. She did it well. I mean, and then. When she was prosecuted, um, she was prosecuted for tax evasion. And when she was asked to give, give up the tapes on her clients, she refused to give up the tapes. And that's because Capricorn is very private. And when it comes to business affairs, they don't play. They don't, um, you know, they don't reveal their sources. So that's one thing that's, you know, upstanding about Capricorn. But again, at the end of the day, it's all about saving their ass and making sure that they're covered on the back end and that they get ahead. Now, um, in general, the dark side of Capricorn female sexual style is often down and dirty. And what she lacks in femininity, she makes up for with her whorish, ultra-submissive tendencies in the bedroom. Now, Do will easily get caught up with one of these dark sides. She goes, even though she tends to be a Debbie Downer and tends to be kind of depressing. And that's because she's the only chick that ate his booty like groceries. And she also paid for dinner. She filled up his gas tank and threw him two yards to help him out with the rent. Now he's trapped. She got him. So he may as well start writing his eulogy. Linda Lovelace is another example of a dark-sided Capricorn. She was the first major commercial porn star. She starred in that major motion porn film, Deep Throat. So I'm going to read a little bit about her. Uh, coerced by Trainer. Trainer was her husband slash pimp. Borman, which was her uh, actual legal name, was soon performing as Linda Lovelace in Hardcore Loops, short 8mm silent films made for peep shows. Borman starred in, 19, in a 1969 bestiality film, Dogorama, also known as Dogfucker. Now, about that, like I said, Dark Side of Capricorn can be very masochistic, can um, be uh, prone to humiliate themselves, or they will be humiliated, or they like to be punished, or they like to be denigrated. Um, basically, they will be uh, broken down to their last fiber, and it's okay with them because they're attracted to that pain, that struggle. But this is to the very extreme, this whole Linda Lovelace, but she is a dark-sided Capricorn nonetheless. So moving along. So she was in this bestiality film back in 1969, which you know that broke molds back then. I'm like, that was back during those, I mean, I know it was like, you know, the counterculture back then, but there was still a lot of people with family values. So the fact that she did that shows, you know, her level of ambition on the dark side. And so she later denied having appeared in the film. Again, like I told you, dark side Capricorn will lie without a conscience. But when uh, those loops were leaked, that proved otherwise. In 2013, Larry Ravine, the cameraman who actually shot the film, spoke about it for the first time during which he asserted that Borman was a willing participant and that no coercion took place. Porn star Eric Edwards, who was also present for the shoot, has similarly claimed that there was no obvious coercion going on and that Borman appeared to be a cooperative performer. Hmm. So she also starred in some other 
uh, porn films like a golden shower of uh, film called Piss Orgy before she made her debut on the major screen in the Deep Throat film. And that Deep Throat film, the premise of the film was weird. Basically, she could Deep Throat dick and she had like this clitoris in her throat. It was just weird and twisted. But that's Linda Lovelace. So that is Dark Side of Capricorn to the extreme. So a few more things about Dark Side of Capricorn females. Um, they tend to lack creativity, imagination, sometimes even a personality. Because, again, like I said, they're all about business, materialism. So they could be plastic in that respect or two-dimensional. Don't take them to an art museum or any event that deals with abstract conceptualizations because they may not appreciate it. Uh, and last but not least, they can be mind fucks in that just when you think that their heart is pitch black or missing altogether, they will turn around and do some kind hearted charitable shit. So they could be mind fucks in that. And I feel like they do that just to balance out their karma because Capricorn is the sign of karma. So, you know, they know that they're racking up a lot of bad karma. So every now and then they'll do some good deed or some random act of kindness just to balance that out. Just so um, maybe, you know, they fear that at the end of their days, they might be, you know, headed for hell or whatever, if they believe in that sort of thing. But a couple of more dark sided Capricorns. Um, Janet Hubert, she played Aunt Viv um, in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Now, she has some dark sided Capricorn traits. She's not totally dark sided, but she's definitely bitter. She's bitchy and she can't let go of the past. And she'll come for anybody's neck. That tries to criticize her in any type of way. Also, Nicole Murphy, she was the wife of Eddie Murphy for many years. She's the gold digging trophy wife of uh, variety of dark sided Capricorn. And, um, she has that Capricorn look with those chisel features. One thing about Capricorn females, they can make good models because they tend to be very statuesque and they have the chisel features. They got that good bone structure. So Nicole Murphy definitely had that, but it's very hard. It's very severe looking. And it, it, that whole bitchiness just comes across in her physical appearance, her, you know, facial expression. So she just has that gold digging look. And I'm pretty sure she knew Eddie was bisexual for years, that he was into trannies, but she didn't care because she was all about that paper at the end of the day. And she was in that um, reality show, which shows that, yes, she's all about paper, ambition. She had to keep the money going. Uh, two other um, dark sided Capricorns, Kyle Richards from The Real Housewives of Orange County and Heather Dubrow from The Real Housewives of uh, Beverly Hills. They're two gold digging phony ass skanks. They're always looking down on others. They always, they're basically uh, always telling lies and shit. They'll get caught up in drama and then they'll lie their way out of it. So that's my take on the dark sided Capricorn female. I hope you found this enlightening and um, insightful. Please feel free to contribute if you have any experience with dark-sided Capricorn females or if you are a Capricorn female yourself and you have some dark-sided traits or if you're dark-sided altogether, please feel free to contribute. And uh, my next video uh, will be in the next couple of days. I'm not sure what it's going to be about, but I think I'll just win you for the next one. But please stay tuned for that. Peace and blessings.